Coming up ahead in this episode of X Talk Spotlight. AI has been doing amazing things uh, all across the world. And I think the industry has gotten to a point now where they recognize that the most important thing is the data under the hood. Um, the algorithms, the approaches are phenomenal, but they can't do anything unless you have really solid data. And these chemomic approaches are producing data at a scale that is perfect for AI. We've learned a lot of things about how to design libraries and how to run the screens in the most effective way. We've also learned a lot of things about how to um, analyze and, and annotate the data that comes off of the Dell. Hello, and welcome to X Talk Spotlight, illuminating insights from subject matter experts and industry thought leaders. I'm Sonia Hunt. In this episode, we're exploring a critical question. How can we make drug discovery faster and smarter? In conventional drug discovery, 99% of DNA-encoded library screening data is dismissed, even though it holds valuable insights into molecular interactions, structure activity relationships, and mechanisms of action. To learn more about the untapped value of DNA-encoded libraries, I connected with two key thought leaders from XChem for this edition of XTalk Spotlight. Matt Clark is the President, Chief Scientific Officer, and a founding member of XChem, and Aaron Davis is XChem's Chief Technology Officer. During our discussion, we talked about Chemomics, which is the company's next-gen approach to DNA-encoded library technology. Matt and Aaron explained how this novel approach turns billions of data points into actionable insights, giving teams reliable omics scale signals and enabling data-driven decisions earlier in drug discovery. Thank you for taking the time for this Spotlight interview, Matt and Aaron. Yeah, looking forward to the discussion. Yeah, thanks for having us. Happy to be here. So Aaron, we'll begin with you. XChem is known for DNA-encoded library, or Dell, technology. And the company has recently announced a new approach that leverages your Dell legacy. This approach, of course, being Chemomics. Can you give us a brief outline of this? Sure. Chemomics is fundamentally now working with uh, chemistry data at an omics scale. And um, I think there's been a lot of development in the field around dealing with big chemistry data, but that's not been at the hundreds of millions or uh, tens of billions of data points. And um, now that our Dell is producing uh, data that is usable at this level, it's a whole new approach. Uh, how do you use hundreds of millions of data point, chemistry data points um, to unlock how protein structure function works and then use it for drug discovery? So this has been a whole new um, initiative of R&D, and it's been super duper exciting. And Aaron, how does Chemomics fit into a world that is now so focused on AI? Perfectly. Um, AI has been doing amazing things uh, all across the world. And I think the industry has gotten to a point now where they recognize that the most important thing is the data under the hood. Um, the algorithms, the approaches are phenomenal, but they can't do anything unless you have really solid data. And these chemomic approaches are producing data at a scale that is perfect for AI. So as the world continues to invest in developing these AI methods, um, Chemomics is creating the data that goes into it at uh, an unprecedented scale. So um, they're a perfect partner. And Matt, from your perspective, why is XChem best suited to bring the Chemomics approach forward? I think XChem is best suited for, for two reasons. Uh, firstly, uh, we are the pioneers in the DNA encoded library technology. We've been operating it for uh, 15 years. I think we've done more Dell screens and built more Dell libraries than any other team in the world. Um, we've learned a lot of things about how to design libraries and how to run the screens in the most effective way. We've also learned a lot of things about how to um, analyze and, and annotate the data that comes off of the Dell. So that's number one. And the second reason is the investments we've made in our computational capabilities, particularly since we um, brought Aaron in uh, about 18 months ago with a remit to build a, a computational suite that could match and exploit the, the scale of the data that this platform generates. And that's why we're so excited to, to bring this combination uh, to the industry. Now, this Chemomics approach represents something of a mindset change. Why do you think such a change is needed? 
Well, I can start with that. Um, the mindset change really is is transforming Dell from a, a screening platform to a generate a data generation platform. Um, you know, our clients have been pretty happy for years receiving hit lists from us and 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 developing those hits, obviously, to uh, leads and clinical candidates. Um, but it almost seems to, as a disservice to take you know tens of millions of data points and distill them down to a, a hit list of forty compounds. So with Aaron's help, we've found ways to exploit that data in much more powerful and, and uh, decisional driving ways. Yeah, let me wrap on that a little bit. So there's a, a mindset change in what Dell is producing, um, but also a mindset change in how to uh, approach chemistry data at this size. I think there's been, and I've seen a lot of people for over the last uh, 25 years of my career or so um, approaching uh, chemistry data and how you use it. And there's a, definitely a mindset change between uh, scrapping together what you can get to approach a large enough scale that has impactful meaning now to thinking about how do we deal with this um, just phenomenal amounts of this information from the exact same experiment on the exact same target with the exact same conditions uh, that they've never dealt with before. One of the biggest challenges uh, in dealing with chemistry data is data from disparate sources in order to get uh, a large enough quantities. And now uh, there is a, a tremendous source of chemistry data, orders of magnitude larger than traditionally, that we have to think about how we're going to use differently. Um, almost a, the, the burden of luxury now uh, and the, the burden of choice. And finally, to wrap up, we know that Dell has been around for a long time, but Matt, what do you think is really different now? Well, I'd say it's taken um, some years to build the Dell platform into the um, uh, data generation resource that it can be now. Um, uh, interesting thing about Dell is that the libraries accumulate over the years. So um, recent entries into the platform can't build the diversity of libraries in terms of schemes, vectors, building blocks, that we have at XCAM having done it for 15 years. Uh, we saw our first signals um, that our data could be um, a driver um, for computational modeling um, back in uh, about 2020. Um, and you know, with Aaron's onboarding, we continue to see that as, as time goes on, as we build the libraries even further, that signal just gets um, more and more powerful. So I don't think this would have worked within two or three years of our foundation. We just needed to build those libraries to a critical mass of diversity and quality. We're there now. Well, thank you very much, Aaron and Matt, for speaking with us today. We greatly appreciate your time and insights. Yeah, thanks so much. It's super exciting stuff. Yeah, thanks so much for the invitation. That was fun. We look forward to learning more about XCAM's next-gen Dell technology to help drive more efficient decision-making in drug discovery. Thank you all for joining us for this XTalk Spotlight feature. We hope you enjoyed the discussion.